Man, I hope he doesn't run off into the water. Oh, shit! Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go on a rampage with one of our wrecks because I need to get some meat. Uh, and we'll also uh, get some. Um, we'll get some leech blood and some other things because we're going to do this uh, in the swamp. All right, so you don't have anything in your inventory, do you? So we have a FedEx Air Freight with us because I needed a critter that can haul quite a bit of meat back across the sea. And uh, we're using Rex Soldier 12, um, 22,000 health, already up to 1,836 melee damage. And uh, yeah, doing good. Yeah, so as you saw from my uh, opening sequence there, uh, we've had some good luck and some bad luck. So the good luck is that we were able to do a perfect tame pteranodon, a perfect tame male um, RG, because yeah, I have been sitting on uh, the female RG for quite some time. And so uh, we've been able to start our Argentavis breeding program. I was motivated to do that because we had um, you know, lost our, our Argent when we went to get the, the Desmoduses. 
So that's good. Um, but I'm just um, I'm just having the worst luck with the sea on this map. <laughs> we lost, as you saw, both of our freaking um, uh, donkeys. I don't know why I have such a hard time remembering the name, Dunkley Dunkleyostis. Um, and it's just because of the freaking jellyfish. There, there was a very slim chance. Granted, not a not a large one, but a slim chance that we could have potentially survived those two alphas that attacked us at the same time. But the problem is the jellyfish came along and disabled, you know, the dinos, and we lost the first one. I had to get away, and then essentially the same thing happened, you know, with with the other one too towards the end there. Um, when the jellyfish started showing up, I had to bail because if I would have stayed on the um the the critter you know we we would have been killed too because of the jellyfish so anyway our um, our main goal for this episode though is we're gonna attempt to tame up an andrew sarkis i've been looking forward to giving that a try um so i'm gonna cut the camera here and uh, finish my rampage here in the swamp and then i will Bring you guys back when we're ready to give the Andrew Sarkis a try. All right, guys, we are back and uh, getting ready to uh, get started with our Andrew Sarkis taming endeavor. Uh, the first thing we need to do, of course, is get the saddle. And do I happen to have one? I don't have one in there. Let's see if I have a blueprint for one. And Drew. Nope. Okay, so we're going to have to learn that. And a Sarkis saddle. Cool. Um, that's probably crafted in here, I'll bet. Just because it's kind of a tech thingy. Uh, nope. Alright, so I guess it is crafted in here, eh? Here, let's actually... we got that guy working on some shotgun shells. Andrew Sarkis saddle right here. Okay, we want one of those. Really? That seems pretty simplistic for such an, an advanced saddle. I know it uh, fires advanced rifle ammo, so we're going to have to probably think about doing that. For some reason, Siri popped up on my Apple Watch. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got the saddle here. Um, and I got some soups. We got food. We got water. Uh, ammunition. We are going to have to go get some... Um, some... Honey. Let's take 34 back away from there. All right, now, my thought was that we use FedEx Air here. We find a Sarkis that we like, pick it up, and take it to a gentler area. You know what we could do also, now that I think about it? This Quetz is really slow. So why don't we do this? We're going to, um, we're going to cry out the Quetz, and we're going to take, uh, Dracula with us, just because he's so much faster, and he's got a point, too, um, I think we'll put that in melee damage. Now, I also have a couple other bats here, I got, um, Nosferatu and Fangora too. These were the first two babies. Uh, Stats-wise, they they weren't that good. Uh, I mean, at least, at least compared to you know getting a base pair. Um, but I thought I'd keep them anyways, and we could at least use them for now until we get um, till we till we get a base pair uh, going. Uh, but I'm not going to take them now just because I think they're going to be too uh, interfere too much. 
So let's run up and grab ourselves some honey first. And then right over that way, um, there's a bunch of Andrew Sarkis. We could scope that out. The other thing we could do is we could actually go to Asgard. Um, the nice thing about Asgard is it's, it's a lot more open. So if we don't spot something really good over here then maybe we'll we'll try that or if it you know turns out to be just a royal pain in the ass so we'll see anyways um let's go grab some honey Okay, here's a couple Andrews here. Let's see what we got. A 130 female, that would be pretty good. And a 95. Okay, let's remember the females up here. And we'll, there's our Rex over there. What level is it? Level 25, okay. Here's an Andrew down here. That's a 135 male and a 20 female. That's a 90. Also got an Alpha Raptor down there. This glass sometimes doesn't work all that great. Okay, there's a couple Andrews there. A 50 and a 140 male. There's one even further out that way, 25. Okay, so let's go with that 140. So here's the plan. And I don't know if this is going to work. It might work, it might not. We'll see. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we're going to get the quets out. Okay, let's go. Oh, we got thunder outside in real life. Let's transfer all the honey to the U. Okay, so we're gonna cryo up Dracula here. Now, across the water, um, to the north of us, is kind of like a little bit of an herbivore island. The one thing I'm not sure about is if these critters will run into the water. So, I guess we're going to find out. Okay, so we're going to drop the Andrew right up on top of this plateau here. And then we want to park the quets far away. And actually, I think what I'll do is... Um, Let's get you back out. Okay, I want to make sure you're on passive and that you're following me. And let's go ahead and cryo you up. Okay, so the idea is the Dracula follows us, and then we can um, grappling hook up to Drac when we get knocked off the Androsarchus. Uh, or we could also grappling hook up a tree, too, if we had to. Um, let's put the quets in there. And I want to 
have a couple of slots here free for honey. I've never done this before. I've seen other YouTubers do it, but I haven't done it myself yet. So, all right. You are on passive, right? Yes, you are. Oh, shit. Uh, I can't pick that up now, can I? Okay. I didn't mean to do that. I'm hoping these guys don't, you know, run off. Oh, you know what else I should have done, damn it? I should have brought a full suit of ghillie, too. I was going to do that, and I forgot. All right. Okay, he's eating it. Okay. We just got to hold that button down. And we're also, I guess the other thing too is we want to, we got to watch the rage meter, which is kind of the red shading in the bar down below. Man, I hope he doesn't run off into the water. Oh shit! Uh, okay, this is not good. This is not good at all. So he does run off into the water. Okay. All right, well, hmm. That being the case, <laughs> um, how far along was he? 17%. Well, crap. Can I mount up on you? I guess. Where did he go? Is that him there? We could try and pick him back up. If he gets into those jellies, though, we could kill the jellies, I guess. Okay. I guess what we could try and do is lure him back around up on the shore again because he is he's still aggroed on us get out of here you stupid bird yeah he's definitely not happy with us oh he's going the other way Andrew watch out for that shark Yeah, you just stay mad at me. I gotta get you over to the shore here. Okay, well, I won't be using this tactic again. <laughs> but since we already got it started, we're gonna keep trying here. There we go. Okay, cool. Now, I don't know how we get him not to be pissed off at us anymore. Do we just wait for a bit and then he relaxes? He gets over his uh, his anger. Okay, looks like he maybe he's he's over it. All right. Um, I kind of like him off the cliff. have another couple honeys. Let's see what he does. Okay, he's going for it. All right, here we go. Don't go in the water, damn it. Okay, he doesn't seem to deliberately go in the water. I think he just accidentally went off the cliff, you know? Okay. 
we're bailing off because the rage meter is almost all the way up. Okay, that went reasonably well. Where did he go? Oh, shit, he's right there. I can't see very well. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a little bit irritated with Dracula. We did throw some honey down. I don't know if he went to eat it or not. These bushes make it kind of hard to see him. I don't even know where he's at. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Um... Oh, shit. Okay, he's caught in the trees, but he's still aggroed on us. So let's just chillax for a second. We need to refresh our honey, too. Nice. Okay. Yeah, he, he is staying away from the water. See, where are we at? He's 57% and 95% effective. Uh oh, that stupid Maestro ate the honey. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, he just goes right up the side of the cliff. Look at that. Make up your mind. Which arrow do you want? Uh, okay, Parasaur. Damn it. This is not working. There we go. Okay. We may have lost some taming effectiveness for that. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not doing me any good. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for him to get unpissed. Now we're at 92%. I think that Parasaur kind of screwed us up a little bit. But you know what? This is my first time doing it, so it's okay. Is he still angry? Yeah, he... Uh, not now. Okay. You can kind of tell when he chillaxes. Okay, here we go. No shit. Okay. You know what? These guys are pissing me off and they're causing trouble. Let's get rid of them. What in the hell's going on? How come I can't move? Shit. 
Guess we got stuck in him. Okay, get the hell out of here. Might get him this time, we'll see. Hey, look at that! All right. Um, we're gonna name him Andy. Andy Sarkis oh. is a beast that's full Andy. of surprises. These ungainly creatures might seem sluggish while foraging for a meal, but they can move unexpectedly fast when provoked. Like certain other whippomorphs. Andrew Sarkis will aggressively defend its territory against interlopers. With some distance between you, it may be possible to dodge a charging Andrew Sarkis. They don't exactly turn on a dime. Just don't expect a river or lake to protect you from one. As long as its feet can reach the bottom, Andrew Sarkis will plow its way right through deep water. These scavengers will tear into just about anything if hungry, but they've got a bit of a sweet tooth. I've seen many an agitated Andrew Sarkis pacified by some honey. Once tamed, Andrew Sarkis is a reliably fast beast of burden, as long as you don't need it to take any corners at full speed. Its density in water also makes Andrew Sarkis ideal for searching ocean floors for pearls, since it sinks so readily to the bottom. The preferred saddle design includes a mounted minigun to target foes, while the driver stays safe inside their airtight armored enclosure. Though a fully armored Andrew Sarkis can't absorb as much damage as some of the Ark's larger creatures, it still excels at harassing them. All right, cool. All right, we got Andy, and he's a 203. And uh, we got 90.1 taming effectiveness, so we probably only lost two or three, may maybe three, two levels at the most. So for our first time around, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, you come here. Um. Now, of course, we're going to have to do this again uh, for a female for breeding. But what I want to do is... Oh, I guess I'm, I've got the saddle. So let's put the saddle on there. Oh, that thing is cool looking. <laughs> Check that out. Apparently it's airtight too. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and grab you and you. Okay. Yeah. Let's, um, let's grab all the honey out of here and put it in to Andrew. So it's got 780 weight. I'm not sure what what the good stats are. Okay, let's cryo you. I can jump pretty high. Okay, that's the back kick. That's a bite. So, how do you make him go super fast? He just plows through everything. Well, he doesn't plow through trees, but he plows through stone. Really? Yeah, I guess he does plow through trees too. Oh, oh, okay. You double, you double tap W. Interesting. Right, what level are you? Let's put you back there. Okay, that's a. Uh, I guess you can't. You, oh, there we go. You got to be looking out the front. That's a 135 Bronto. All right, let's not mess with him. I'm sure we could take him, but... Uh, 
Does he take fall damage? Yeah, it sounded like he did maybe take a little bit. All right, so these guys are supposed to be really good in the water. Um, and we don't need to worry about air. But I don't want to... I thought you guys said that jellies won't knock you off in this saddle. But I don't want to test that theory. There's a... There's a, uh, whatchamacallit over there. I don't want to test that theory with our bat and our Quetzal in our inventory. Just in case something, something goes wrong. Um. Okay, so let's, um, let's get started with health. I'm thinking I probably want to at least have him, um, up to 10,000 health. Now, can he swim or does he have to go along the bottom? I wonder what level that uh, alpha is there. It's really nice that we can be in here. I I think it's, did that say 70? Or 20, okay. It's nice that we can be in here and not have to worry about breathing. I don't know what level that guy was. Uh, what is his melee? 245, okay. Um, yeah, let's get, let's get his health at least to 10,000. And then, you know, I, I kind of need to get a feel for, they, they do, they are kind of hard to turn. I need to get a feel for, you know, what they need. So this is my first time ever on one of these. Let's see if we can just keep surfing up like that. Gotta be careful, jellyfish, unless they don't hurt us. Oh yeah, he can swim. Okay. The notes seem to indicate that he just walked along the bottom, but I love being in this saddle and not having to worry about air. I know I already said that, but that's cool. Get out of here. Alright, let's get up here and get our stamina back. out of here. Well, let's feed this fish to him and then see if we can get him some normal meat. But a lot of that um, health loss is, is not from damage just because we, you know, we, we, we've been putting points into health. So one more point should get him over 10,000 and then his stamina, whoops, he eats those? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's just use these to help heal him up. We can always get more of this. That actually heals him pretty quick. Um, anyway, his stamina seems to be pretty good, so... I'm thinking get him to 10,000 and then start pumping melee. Okay, let's do this again. I know this is a bit risky with our quets and our bat, but... I can replace both of those critters, so I'm not too, too terribly worried about it. Okay, he's got a point. I'm going to put that into health. That gets him up to 11,000. And we did it. 
Get out of here, you little bastard. All right, what do we get? Some nice chitin boots and some tools and things, okay. But 22 points, that's what we got. <laughs> awesome, man. Okay, so... Um, before I put, before I put those points into anything, um, I want to run around with him just a little bit more and, and see if I can get a, a better feel for his stamina, especially when we do the, the big sprint thing. Does the stamina go down a lot more quickly that way? Man, he really scoots, doesn't he? He just... I'll do everything. I love it. Okay, do we... Oh, okay. I see. He's got like a... Some icons in the lower left-hand corner, which I guess is his meter, his sprint meter. Um, What's the blue one? I don't know what the blue one means. The red one, I think, was his sprint meter, though, and it's... Yeah, and it's out now, so we gotta wait for that to recharge. Cool. Alright, um. This was where I lost my. my two Dunkleos, Dunkleosis the other day, and I noticed there was a bunch of Eurypticus just really in the shallow water here. So I ended up uh, killing a bunch of them with my shotgun to get some black pearls. So I wonder if they're still around. Yeah, look at that. There's your Eurypticus right there. Let's bring him up closer this way. So we can kind of see what's going on a little bit better. And if you guys have ever tried to take these Eurypticus on on foot, be careful because they'll come all the way out of the water after you. And they have very potent venom, so you gotta be super careful. Here they come. Give me some black pearls, baby. He's got quite the kickback on his attack. Let's harvest you. Okay, we got three black pearls. Nice. Um, okay, where's that other Eurypta that we killed? Here he is. There's a new one, too. Okay, we got more black pearls from him. Yeah, screw going to the bottom of the sea, man. This is way easier to get black pearls. <laughs> of course, with this guy, maybe it won't be so bad. He seems to have really good resistance to torpor. Okay, so we got a total of 13 black pearls out of that deal. Not bad. Um, I, Yeah, so far, I mean, it seems like his stamina is just crazy. Crazy good, just as it is. I mean, even if we're not using, like, the little sprint thing... And with all the fighting stuff that we did, um, that's pretty good. But I think, though, I think, though, that we let's give him a a couple more points in it, just just to be good. Cause see, he's, you know, we're just full on sprinting here. Just tearing everything up. It does slow him down, though, which is to be expected. 
Okay, so yeah, let's um, let's get him to two thousand on stamina, and that's all we'll do. Um, I think what we'll do is get him to fifteen thousand on health. His weight seems to be pretty darn good, and then I think we're just gonna pump melee for everything else. Nice. Take this guy home. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Very nice indeed. What is he good at harvesting? Let's take a look at Delta Dex. He's rated number four for hide, two for chitin, one for pelt, two for mutton. Wow, okay, so we want to use him to get pelt. Huh, cool. All right, guys, well, um, what I'm going to do is get a female for Andrew here. And, um, you know, so we can start breeding them, of course. And then uh, we will be good to go uh, for Andrew Sarkis. You guys said he was really good to take into the caves, too. Um, we can't get pulled off the mount, you know, by the Desmodus because we got the armored thing. And my guess is it probably would also protect us from the gas, too, because it says it's it was a sealed um, container. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is is grab a female for, for this one. I might uh, I might actually go to Asgard and try it just so we have, you know, because Asgard's, as I recall, it's just a little bit more open. I don't know if you can get honey there, though. Um, but, you know, I could always get honey here and then just take it with me. Whoa. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there there is honey there. I just don't remember where it was if we saw it. And um, then maybe we'll just use these guys, you know, for, for ocean stuff, at least until we can uh, get a bassy. Um, I still want to get a bassy. And then we'll go from there. So I think that's it, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch you guys all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Nice.